Hold on. What's the deal with you? I just know I'm up in love uploading a video too. Don't know what I'm trying to do. Man, me. Uh, hold on. It's Runaway Ron. Y'all just know that I'm trying to... Uh, I said, hold on, it's Runaway Ron. I'ma hop on the beat, no baby Tron. What you trying to do? My name is what? I'm just kidding, bro. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. What is the deal with y'all, man? It's your boy. Run away, Ron. Let's get right into the video, baby. It's hot in here, bro. It's okay. I'm in the garage. It's my dojo. You feel me? But um, hold on. Before I start this video, man, AJ, I don't know if you watching this, bro, but this for you. I'm going to take a shot of Henny for the homie. Her birthday was uh March 4th. And, uh, you know, we supposed to take some shots. Took a shot. Didn't finish it. So I'm going to finish it for her. I was supposed to be doing this a little minute ago. It's getting warm in here. Ooh. Ooh, fuck. Y'all seen the title of the video, bro? You know, like I always say, man, I be getting these thoughts when I'm coming home from the gym, while I'm in the gym, my chest is on fucking fire. Oh my God, hold on. That was for the homie. Oof, I don't, I don't drink. I ain't took no liquor in. Oof. Without further ado, let's really get into the video. So man, um, I was on my way home from the gym and I was just thinking, you know, thinking about like just certain things like, man, like women be a distraction, this and that, or just my whole take on women, how I feel, just shit I see. And you know, I really just wanted to talk about, you know, not settling for women, right? And before you even take that as however you take it, let me just really, you know, give myself a chance to explain myself. I'm saying that as in like, like don't mess with certain females just because you ain't got no females, bro. You feel me? We didn't all been there. We didn't all been in the drought. You feel me? No Udi Oohs on the phone. Yo, yo hotline is not blinging. You feel me? Your line is not hot blinging. However you want to put it, bro. We've been there and it's cool. Every time I get in these phases where it's really like just me and myself, I'm like, yeah, I need this time to go focus on what I got to focus on to go be a better version of myself so that when something do come my way, if I accept it, if I allow it, I'm better than what I was, you know, previous to that time, whatever, you know, however you want to put it. Because um, it's just so important that you just stay true to yourself. You feel me? Every man know what he want. Every man know what type of woman he want. And there's been times in the past where, you know, I'm, I'm going to talk about myself real quick. Like, I've been in a drought. You feel me? This one girl, she seeming interested. It ain't really nothing I would truly mess with. But it's cool. It's cool enough, right? It's cool enough to mess with, entertain, maybe even. <laughs> right, 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 right. But, you know, I did that a couple times, bro. I did that a couple times. And after you get done, or not even right after, like we're not even talking post nut clarity, none of that. Like days, weeks after, you're gonna be sitting there thinking, like, bro, I would have not did that shit, bro, if I was just insane, if I was sane. You feel me? I would have not did that if I wasn't desperate in a scarcity mindset. And uh, it's either this or nothing. You feel me? It's okay to have nothing, fool. It's okay because I felt ashamed that I stooped. You feel me? You have standards. I felt ashamed that I lowered my standards because I wasn't getting what I wanted, bro. And that's okay, fool, because you're going to have to go through that shit to realize, like, yeah, I can't do that again. Like, okay, I see something. You feel me? And you know what sucks, bro? I'm going to keep it a stack. It sucks when females are on your line. I'm not even going to say females. Or a girl tap in, or she like your pictures and follow you, and it ain't nothing that you really want. You be like, fuck. That's how I be feeling. <laughs> I'll be like, damn, nigga. Damn. 
Damn, man, man, man. <laughs> Nigga finna start raging and shit. But just because it's that type of female on your line don't mean you gotta, you know, take initiative to go mess with her, bro. If it ain't truly what you want, if it ain't truly what you like, don't even do it, bro. Because, because I've been in this situation one too many times. You're gonna be in it. You're gonna go out, you know, take her to get some food. You're gonna bring her back to the crib. You're gonna go to her crib, right? You're gonna be on FaceTime, right? I've been through all these situations, fool. And you're gonna be sitting there in it. You're gonna be sitting there in it. And you're gonna be thinking, there's gonna be a thought in the back of your head like, bro, I don't wanna fucking be here, right? You're going to be like, I don't want to be here, bro. I don't. And you know what the cold part is? You know what the cold part is? I'm not even talking about all of this I've been saying. I'm not even talking about like a girl to wife. I'm talking about just messing with something. Just, just something cordial. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> recently, you know, if for all my dudes, you know, it's, it's 2022, bro. It's only getting harder. For average dudes, you know, regular type of dudes that ain't the 1% to get females, bro. Let's just be, let's just keep it a stack. I know you see it on TikTok all the time about other dudes going through the same thing you're going through. And that's why it's okay because you're not the only one, bro. You're not alone, fool. As much as you think you're alone, you're not, bro. You're not. So back to what I was saying, don't lower your standards, bro. Don't lower your expectations. I know what I want. Back in my day in high school, even in college, and even even a little bit after college this year, and you know what I mean? I've messed with some very attractive females. I've messed with some eights, some nines. And then, you know, when you get to that drought, like I'm saying, I done found myself messing with some fives and sixes, bro. I'ma keep it a stack. I'ma keep it a stack, bro. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, fool. I've been there, I done done that. And every time I catch myself messing with a five and six, I'll be like, fuck, why, bro? Go a little longer, go a little longer. I'm gonna tell y'all a little quick story, bro. This was in college, bro. This was probably Corona hit. Corona hit, bro, I, I was in the, I was in the sand dunes, like Egypt, pyramid, the desert, nigga, no water in sight. I be telling my homies about this. Had the, had the headband on with a stick and the fucking sand is just all in my face and I'm just walking through it. Don't know how long, don't know how far it is until I hit a reservoir with water. Don't know how far or how long it's gonna take until I stumble upon an island, a pond, a lake, or the ocean. You catching my drift, bro? So I'm, I'm, I'm traveling, I'm traveling. It's been two years, fool. There was a time in my life I went two years with nothing, bro, nothing. And I'm still thugging it, thugging it. And an opportunity come, I'm looking in the distance, I see a little pond. I'm like, oh yes, I'm about to sit in this pond however long I can. I get over to the pond, bro. On, on surface level, it looked good from afar, from way back here, it looked good. And then you know, I get there, I get there, I'm here. I'm putting my stuff down. I'm like, yeah, this is where it's at, right? And then after a day go by, it's cool. Two days go by. Now I'm finna really get in the pond. I'm finna drink water from the pond. Ooh. Auntie Renna. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Oh, this is YouTube. Lord have mercy. Say what's up, YouTube. Say what's up. Hey, she in my you. You the first guest on my YouTube video. <laughs> I'm rolling. That's my auntie, y'all. One of the coolest aunties in the world, for real. That's what I was saying, fool. I'm in it. I'm about to, you know, I'm about to really get indulged, bro. And I'm about to translate all of this for my dumbass niggas that don't understand nothing I got going on. And then I get to the pond. I get in it. I'm drinking the water. I'm sitting in it. And I'm like, bro, this shit, this water ain't even good, for real. This water is tainted. This water is not pure. This water is not what I expected. And so what the fuck I have to do? I have to fucking get the fuck out the water and I have to go right back on my trail. Bro, and look, this, I'm about to go, hold on. This is, what, this is what I was doing. Imagine I have a little hacky sack that's connected to this and this is what I was doing, bro. I'm just, I'm just going. I'm just going, bro. 
I had to get the fuck up out the pond and I had to sit on my adventure again, fool. Just, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I'm about to make this a quick translation for all my stupid boys in the back. I was messing with a girl, bro, after two years of having, having, not having nothing, bro. I'm like, you know what? She a, she a six, right? Maybe even five, right? You feel me? I'm like, I can, I can mess with her. I'm gonna mess with her, you feel me? She gonna give it up, right? She say she want to, okay, whatever. I'm gonna go see what it's hitting for. Okay, I go see what it's hitting for, bro. The whole experience is not what I want. It's not what I expected. It's not what I like. The whole shit was just like a plane just going down. I don't even wanna get into details, bro. Don't even wanna go into details. I was messing with her for probably like a month, maybe two weeks, you know? Niggas tried doing the, that shit was clipped. That wasn't smooth. It was a bumpy road the whole time. As soon as I got in the road, it was bumpy, fool. I'm like, oh yeah, nah. After that experience, I learned like, yeah, bro, just because you solo dolo don't mean you gotta mess with anything that got two legs. Swear to God, don't do it to yourself, bro, because after you be like, what the fuck? I wasted my time, resources, energy, all of that shit, bro. Really quick, I'm gonna talk about one more situation, bro. And this is why I'm saying, I'm still going through this shit, bro. I, you gotta get hit over the head however many times until you realize like, okay, yeah, let me <clears throat> miss, you feel me? Let me not get hit over the head because I learned my lesson. Another girl, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it a G fucking stack with y'all niggas, bro. I don't even want, I, I ain't even tell my homies this shit, bro. Messing with another girl, right? You feel me? I'm in an era where it's just me, myself, and I. <sighs> Hold on, back to what I was saying. You know, this is some recent shit, bro. Probably within the last six, seven, six months. This, it was this year, okay? You know, I'm in my I'm in my sand dunes, bro. I'm in the sand dunes, I'm thugging it. I'm solid. Mind you, when you in the sand dunes, you feel me, you may be suffering, but it's not as bad as you think. I promise you, bro, it's not as bad as you think. I'm in the sand dunes, something, something come my way. I see, a, I see another pond. I see another pond, I'm like, oh, yup, it's go time. I go and hit the pond, fool. You feel me? And, th and this is how I'm saying, I'm growing. I'm growing, right? I, I, I go in the pond, I dip my toe in the pond, and I just knew from the jump. I'm like, oh yeah, nah. It's clip, bro, it's clip. As soon as I stepped in it, I was like, oh yeah, nah, I ain't even, I ain't even put my whole body in it, didn't drink nothing from it, bro. After that happened, I just kept going. I'm like, yep, this ain't the pond I'm looking for. Back on my sand dune, back in the journey. Mind you, this journey's infinite. You feel me? You walking in the desert, and you see the sand dunes and all it is, you just walking. It's infinite, bro. And now, here we go. I'm about to translate this shit for all the dumbass niggas, right? Messing with this girl after it's been so long, right? However long it's been since. Ah, okay? And I'm not even saying just fucking, right? I'm just saying just talking to girls, having girls on your line, just interacting. You feel me? I'm interacting with this girl, communicating, talk for a little bit, FaceTime a little bit. Right, probably talking FaceTime for a week, you know, um, and then we link up. We link up, uh, you feel me, watching movies. We in, a, we in a crib, we in somebody crib, okay? I'm not gonna say it's my crib, her crib, we in a crib, that's all you gotta know, right? Uh, like it even fucking matters. I'm in a crib, we chilling, you feel me? We kiss a little bit, make out a little bit, right? And it's the first link up, mind you, the first link up. Kissing all of this a little bit, right? You feel me? She was cute too. I'm not gonna cap. She was cute. I ain't gonna cap, fool. Um, but it just be all the other shit. It be all the other shit, the antics. It be all the other shit, right? That morning, I had to go to work that morning. Bounced up, five in the morning, right? Bounced up. Had to dip out. I guess you could kind of tell whose crib we at, okay? I dipped out. Before I dipped out, I blew one. You feel me? I'm finna smoke one. She smoke one with me, okay? We smoke one, she leave, I'm driving home, bro. Mind you, something like this ain't never happened to me in my life, fool. Never. Swear for God, you feel me? I'm driving, bro, pretty much. I'm not even gonna make this shit drastic. I ain't gonna exaggerate it, bro. I get a cold sore, my nigga. That is not true. Like that, like, yeah, fool. I ain't never had no cold sore in my life, bro. And I'm sitting there replaying it, and I'm like, bro, like I didn't see no signs of her having something, my nigga. 
But that's the thing, bro. You gotta, you gotta dig deeper, fool. I'm thinking about, I'm like, oh yeah, she had makeup on. I probably couldn't even see it if it was, right? Everything's covered. You feel me? And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm done. I was so pissed. I had to go to work with a cold sore. Thank God we was able to wear masks. I wore a mask the whole fucking day. After work, I'm driving home. I look, you want to cry. That's how I feel. I couldn't, but I wanted to. I was sad. I was furious. I wanted to tell her and just go up. But I was like, nah, bro, don't act out on your emotions. Just chill. Just sit, it. Just sit in it. Sometimes when shit happens, bro, you got to sit in it, fool, and just, and just sit. Okay? Because you don't want to make nothing that you're going to regret later. You don't want to act, act out on emotions like a female, like the woman do. You a nigga, bro. You got to take the logical approach. Not always, but me. I'm taking, you feel me? I'm not doing nothing. That ain't me. My emotions, that ain't me. Obviously, we have them, but to act out on that isn't truly myself. That's not how I would truly handle the situation. So I simmered down. I was calm. Just went to work, let work go. And I was like, you know what? If she tapped back in, fool, I'm about to let her know. Because I'm not replying. Because, you know, I was the last one to say something, whether it was a call or a text. I didn't say nothing. I let it go. And then over that time, you feel me? I just didn't. We just stopped talking after that, bro. I ain't feel the need to have to let her know because it don't fucking matter. Y'all, I know you probably sitting there probably like, bro, fuck that. I would have went up in it. Why? Because at the end of the day, you still not going to be fucking with her. It's A or B. Everybody want to do the in-between shit, the politic and the going back. That shit don't matter, bro. Stop being so low vibrational. Stop. That shit don't do you no good, bro. I just took control of my situation, took control of what I was able to take control of, and I just stopped affiliating with that. I just stopped affiliating with her, right? And she did me a favor of not ever tapping back in either. So it's just, we gonna leave it at that. And that's what I'm saying, bro. I took it, happened once. After that one, I'm like, yeah, I'm done. I can't. And mind you, I was the only girl that I ever tapped in that I've been talking to for however long that was at that time. And I'm like, fuck that, bro. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth me getting some shit up here, my nigga. It ain't worth it, bro. And now imagine if we would have did the whole nine. Who the fuck knows? I could be right. I be. I could be sick right now, my nigga. So I, you know, I'm just grateful and blessed that God gave me another lesson, so that now the next time I come to the situation, I'm more woke on the situation. You can't just be putting your lips on fucking everybody, my nigga, with your stupid ass. I'm like, all right, bet, bro, bet, bet, bet. I make mistakes so you don't have to. All right. So that's all I'm gonna say, man. Stop settling for women, bro. If it ain't truly what you want. Don't do it. Don't do it because you only doing yourself a disservice. You're going to be sitting there like, bro, I know I've had better. I know I could do better. This ain't my expectation. These aren't my standards. You lying to yourself. You being desperate. You a desperate ass person. I'm not desperate, bro. I'm not finna be desperate, bro. Because then when you desperate, shit like that happens. And it can get way worse than having a little bump bump on your lip, fool. I got the... I got the, the uh, the easy way out. There's niggas out there that I've had it way worse. That got serious shit. You feel me? So don't be them niggas or don't be me either. You feel me? And I'm not saying you don't got kids, no, but just make sure, bro. Just make sure. And you gotta be real niggas. Sometimes you gotta like, like, what's up with you? Like, like, if she got something, bro, you gotta let her know, like, yeah, I can't, I, we can't do nothing. You gotta get that. You gotta get that taken care of. And that's why I never tap back in. Because I'm like, if I can't kiss you or we can't do nothing, I don't even want your lips nowhere near me. We can't do nothing. The situation's clicked. I was walking to the pond, and I'm like, bro, this bitch ain't even got no fucking water in it. The pond don't got no fucking water in it. What the fuck I'm going to do? Sit here and burn and sit in this hot-ass sand? No. I'm about to keep going. It's behind me now. It's behind you now, bro. And you just got to leave it at that, fool. So... You know, I think with just those two examples and just everything else I've been saying, you get the clear picture, the clear definition of what I'm trying to say, the moral and the meaning of not settling for women, bro. <clears throat> Stay true to you. If it ain't nothing, and that's what makes it hard for certain people like me. You feel me? I don't know what your standards are. You can mess with four fives and sixes if you want to. I ain't gonna knock you. But you feel me? What I've been through and what I want, bro, I only want the best. And that's all I'm going to get. I've had it before. I can do it again. 
you know, what side, what side you want to be on, bro? What side you want to be on? So, you know, that's pretty much it, man. I ain't going to sit here and ramble. You feel me? Because y'all know how I get, you know. So, stay true to you, bro. It's okay not having nobody on your phone, bro, because you need to use this line to just focus on yourself. Because I promise you, you're going to feel better. But, yeah, man, y'all go ahead. Be ready for the next video. But actually, you're not going to be ready for the next video because you're not even subscribed, bro. I've been seeing you come back to these videos, but you're not sub, bro. Just go ahead, sub, and like the video so you can keep getting this sauce. And another thing, too, I need y'all to book a consultation down below so we can really talk in politic and we can understand each other on a different level. Let's really have a conversation and leave as two different individuals. Y'all know how I'm coming by these videos. I'm trying to see how y'all coming. Let me know. I would love to learn about y'all on a deeper level. But, you know, a lot of y'all not ready for that anyway, so it's good. Um, other than that, man, y'all stay cool. It's Runaway Ron, and I'm running out of here. I'm gone.